Well, I'm walking to Ringling today. I gotta get my walk, so why not? We're gonna show you a little bit of like what it's like to uh, hopefully to go to Ringling today. You can see that sort of thing. Um, my my students want to know like what it's like. You know? Say hi to my class at UVU. <laughs> you guys say hi just like they would. They'd be like hi. <laughs> uh -huh. This is what was your name? Patu. Uh, Patu. Yeah. Okay. And you're a junior, right? Yes. That. Fun, really fun stuff. So, carry on. Okay. So when, when is your when is the internship starts? And what was your name? Veronica. Okay. So that's the one that got into society. Um, cool. That's nice. There's another one that I did that lady. Yeah, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of poems. And mm -hmm. so I have a yeah, I think a couple of them got in the society this time. Okay. Do you want to open? Thinking. Seems like it doesn't want to open. Oh, you can. And that's, oh, that's um, fun. for the pool. Nice color. Thank you. <laughs> so, like, I just love looking at these. What was your name again? Uh, Sam. Sam. Okay. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, just So what is that for? Um, what do you mean? The the sketches. Um, they're all just trying to figure out what the character looks like and how he's going to Oh, okay. Stuff. So. Um, but but yeah, what's the assignment? Uh, the assignment is that you? you have to do a sequential piece. Oh, okay. So and it's pretty open. What we're going to do for that? Okay. Um, okay. Just... You're the you're the infiltrator, right? She's the interim. What are you working on? Oh, cute. Uh, thank you. Are guys allowed to use the word cute? Yes. He uses it all the time, but he also uses the word sickening with it. So. <laughs> <laughs> he Nause tries nauseating he tries comes to up too. Redeem it. Um, so cute. You want to buy? New okay. shot of insulin and stuff like that comes up. Uh huh. Here's all the stuff from your first semester, plus some of the extra stuff. So you got like Audrey? Yeah, I have Audrey. That's good. Oh, that's fun. Kind of a Hepburn piece, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, you got the girl hanging uh, I have a book cover. You got the girl hanging upside down? Yes, I do. This is when her style actually... Connected. Oh, fun. Disney really liked that one, too. You can see why. And then, uh, your La Musica was pretty cool, too. La Musica. Um, I got Audrey printed, but I don't... I don't have any other value or color that's similar to that. In her body, so it looks like oh, it's China. No, on her body, like the shadows, or okay. you don't have that value anywhere else in her body. So it looks like you just got this big black mass floating oh, up on top of her head. Uh, so you've introduced that value. You need to introduce that value throughout the rest of the character. Okay, so like maybe the back side of the dress gets almost that dark. Maybe the shadow under her leg gets almost that dark. The shadow under her skirt gets that dark. So that's not just this one mass of black shape, you know, okay? Oh, so her legs be hairy. It was kind of disgusting with her legs <laughs> being hairy. I actually liked it better, but... You want me to show him the one at the hair on the lips? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> That was cool. 
Maybe have them do fashion design. Oh, I can't wait for my students to be able to see this and know how much they have to work. Uh, yeah, that was very nice too. Is that for Proc now? Oh, right. Okay. So this is not from Proc now. <laughs> this was her greeting card. Oh, oh. So it No, I do have it on here. I just saw I see the MacBook Pro is like standard off, right? They all get one when they come. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh. They're all issued one that's theirs for four years. Um, supposedly they're supposed to turn it back, but we, never, we haven't taken them back yet. Sometimes we're allowed to keep them. They might change, though. Yeah, but as oh, of right fine. now, it's just the reason they're letting us keep them right now is they don't So she's got this one with the gay marriage. I think that's uh -huh. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it was just. Uh, I, I like it. Okay. He's the judge. No, we shouldn't ask the judge. <laughs> yeah, no. I can, I can already see that uh, JJ. You're going to have a hard time. It's going to be tough. How am I going to do it? I mean, this is only one class. You're going to have a really hard time. I have a quarter. Hmm? Like, flips really good. There's the one from the order. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I don't know. Whoa. There we go. I think that one's really cool. Oh, that's nice. Fun yeah. color. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, this one with the boo boo. That one I did for that one. Yeah. Why does it keep doing that? Um, I don't know why. It's slow. That's why. All these are PSD files. Hmm. So, uh, fun stuff. It's just sickening. That's fun. No, it's sickening. It's sickening. <laughs> 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 That was, the that was your spring bug. Did everybody have to do a spring bug? No, they had a choice of poems, but they all picked five of them. Oh, okay. All of the kid wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> and then the green cards. Yeah, here's your bees. Wow. Your favorite thing, your retarded <laughs> bees. Yeah, she does these retarded bees. <laughs> <laughs> That's all greeting cards are. I know, puns. I know. <laughs> I know. Now you worked at Hallmark, right? No. That was Steve then. Uh, Octavio. Oh, that's right. Octavio. And, 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 and Don. That's and nice. Don. I like that. Don actually hired Octavio. And then we hired Don. And then a few years later, we hired Octavio. And Octavio. Guess what? That was your boss before? He's your boss again! Hope you liked him! And then these were we had to do a political piece. So I just did a bunch of patterns um, with the two political parties. Uh -huh. Same. And I think that's it. Cool. Thank you. No lower jaw, so it ends up oh, on yeah. the shirt. Very impressive. Uh, what else? Uh, you like the big. Wacom tablet, huh? <laughs> well, my grandpa got it for me, so uh, oh. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, show him some of your work. Uh, can I show him the Stephen Fry thing? Uh, what's that? That digital portrait I did last year. I showed you at the beginning. No! Of Why not? It's brilliant. <laughs> no! Show him some of your early stuff. Fine. Uh, this one's good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, let's zoom in more. Yeah, Annabelle's really nailed her, her stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one's okay. I think the earplugs are. Yeah, that one's fun. I might replace the line with, like, a screaming baby or something. What? Because uh, it isn't really good. Oh, that's cool. This is a cute class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show me your Buddhist one, though. Okay. That's not so cute. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. 
like that. Yeah. What else you got? I got more than this. What else? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what you've done. Uh, there's a poem. Oh, yeah, your poem. Oh, yeah, the, the thingy. It's not the square thing. These are all from the semester, too. Oh, really? Not the square. Is that Sigmund? It was just supposed or to be just, psychologist. Just, uh, <laughs> stereotypical. Yeah. Psychologist. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. It's got a lot of great action. Yeah. Oh, you were kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Jungle Babe. Jungle Babe. I haven't seen Jungle Babe. <laughs> no, you haven't. Because you were not no, here. No, I wasn't. <laughs> That's a very butch looking jungle, jungle Babe. Man, she's been in the jungle for years, man. What's your face look like? Uh, it's missing a mouth right now, so... Um. You should be farther than one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, is it going to be animal print, or is it just... Yeah, I'm going to put that print. Alright, fine. Yeah. Oh, another guy materialized in the class. He's not in the class. Yeah, oh. <laughs> this, this one's fun. Oh, nice. Newt. That was the political piece. No, no. Is that yours that's too? His, uh, yeah. That's his poem. Fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got uh, just a piece that got into society from a different class. Yeah, below, below the student show. Yeah. Society, society. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 From Seinfeld? Yeah. Did, yeah. Oh. Did, uh, Do you have any pages? Oh, wait, no, that, that'd be on a wall. Yeah, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> no, I meant pages for your strip, pages. your sequential thing. Oh, yeah, I have sketches for it. Hold on. Mm. Uh, Notice how Bunyan respectful is. everyone is in here. Paul Bunyan was actually pretty They're hard at work. Paul Bunyan. Nice. And Kramer. That was his animal farm, which is pretty cool. That is fun. Can you blow that one up? I think it's lost. At oh, never mind. It's good. Is that rendered in Photoshop? Yeah. Yeah. There's oh, there's your Kramer. Piece. Kramer. Yeah. Get some pages? Yeah. Sean's lazy. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's very talented, but he's unfortunately. Like this is Sean, sickness of it. Yeah. Like he needs to work harder than he does. He <laughs> said, use my powers for good. <laughs> yes. Do they have a sketchbook assignment for this class? No. No. no I don't make them. All our kids keep sketchbooks. Continue. You don't have to make them do it? No, they, they do it continually. On the I, uh, <coughs> may or may not. Except for him. Sketchbook. Um, uh. At home. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> All right. All hey, right. Th thanks so, for showing us. Uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> no, you're not in my class. <laughs> I just wanted to meet you. Oh, okay, man. Hi. Hi. James. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, so I love your stuff, by the way. Oh, thanks. Super colorful. Yeah. Um, can I show you stuff? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. No! Okay. This is well, my class! That's why I'm here. It's because my children's book class was canceled today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, um, with Steve? Oh, uh, Casper. Tom Casper. Oh, Tom, yeah. Okay, and, uh, that's right. So our dumb book was supposed to be a due today, and he pushed it to Monday. Oh, okay. As much as I wanted to pass in, I was like, oh, that's the, that's Yeah, he nice. wanted me to come to his class. Oh, yeah. he's an awesome that's class. class. Thanks. Um, this is a color study I'm doing for... Uh -huh. I'm actually doing a gouache painting. I have all these layers and stuff like that. So, uh -huh. um, And it was for advanced media class for Brandis. So I'm just, I was trying out different things, and um, uh, I wanted to finish it traditionally, but I, I love working digitally, too. Mm -hmm. you know, I love painting. I love... Uh, what are we doing with digital stuff? So mm -hmm. I wanted to um, try to explore both at the same time, mm -hmm. see what, you know what I can do and what I can't do. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to show you some stuff? No, no, yeah, that'd be great. Cool. Okay. 
I'm, sh I'm showing my class all this stuff too, really? so that can uh, eat us. Where do you teach at? At UVU. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What classes do you teach? Do you teach uh, uh, right now, visual uh, imagination and visual literacy, yeah. and then uh, a painting class, acrylic painting. Class, so, yeah. Okay. And then uh, in the fall, a children's book class. And that sounds awesome. Whatever they had me do. This is some stuff I did last semester. Uh, for some of the first digital stuff I did, some character design. Um, the pulp cover assignment we had to do. I had to change my idea on this one entirely. Um, um, piece from last year. So I got really into drawing animals and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. So some frogs. Have you read uh, Tuesday, the children's book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorites. So I had yeah, to do a that. Yeah, and then uh, Master Copy with animals and stuff. That was a lot of fun, too. Um, some character designs. So, this is what I did with uh, me and Danny teamed up on. That's why they're super cute. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had no choice in that one. Um, it was a lot of fun. And then uh, I got some of my emphasis on it, too. Um, Proc Nas class. Some, uh, some of the very first digital pieces I did before I knew you really had to use Photoshop. Uh -huh. So that was a lot of fun. Little so you're painting in watch? Yeah, which uh, is weird because like, I didn't think I would ever able to get it because um, I've seen it done last year uh -huh. and last year we had a demo and uh -huh. it just it's so weird the way it dries and then I started using it uh -huh. and um, it's just I, I like it you know I like uh, applying it like testing it out first and putting it down and seeing how it all back and then it kind of like build up color better that way. Uh -huh. I've wanted to try it with acrylic. Um, Do you like it better than acrylic? Uh, I like acrylic a little bit better just because I, it's not as surprising and I I feel more comfortable with it. I've used it a lot longer, but it's really exciting to me. I mean, it's just like right. one of those things. Like, it's new. It's exciting. Right. I love new media. Not really. <laughs> right, right. No, I love I love gouache too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So she's more apparent. Close up. So. Yeah. Okay. I actually like that one better. That sounds like I'm do some molding, maybe more of a lighter thing. Alex. Maybe another chair or something. Or something like that. Okay. And for what class? Um, right now it's animatics. Uh -huh. And I wish they would all open better. These are some dress variations I had for like a, a video game pitch I was doing with princesses. And they all have like else, where's my monologue? <laughs> she's got she's yeah. got like the uh, donkey and elephant having a tea party. Uh huh. So that was pretty good. And you use a desktop. How's that? You just like haul that here? No, I'm this just kidding. Here. I would no. This is. I told my parents don't give me presents for like the next two years. Just buy me this when I graduate because my laptop cannot handle working. Well, I, I don't like working on that small of a screen. Well, there's that too, but I mean, like, I could forego that if it wasn't like, okay, I want to open an eight and a half by eleven file and it's slow now because right. it's more than six inches. But, I'm some more stuff. Um. Barmaids. I did the, the Carter's workshop. I did, uh -huh. I did some foxes. Um, I like foxes. I like, I like the wallflower. Again. The wallflower for Perez. I do cute stuff and then I apparently do ink and digital stuff. That's why I realized when I put together my portfolio of everything. I just did that the other day and I'm like, oh, it's all either cute or kind of morbid oh, ink with stuff. The cute. Wait. Which one? Oh, that's fun. The, yeah, the, the little ladybug. 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 Nice. Um, the piece who is. This is a piece I actually personally really like a lot. I made a pattern book to Shredder Carter, so this is all stuffed sculpt, soft sculpture, and I made uh -huh. patterns to go in it. Oh, nice. It's super soft and microfibery. Uh -huh. and I like. I want to do something tactile for my thesis, or at least part of it, uh -huh. not as much as bread, because I'm not going to make some puppets. That sucks. <laughs> um, this piece actually just got into a local gallery show, so I'm kind of stoked about that. Oh, nice. framed. <laughs> I have to go like beg Dari or Jessica Spray to frame it in like two days. <laughs> I thought that, I can't really yeah. Yeah. Um, show me the uh, octopus. It's octopus? A whole different style again. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I have this thing about where I kind of don't do the same thing twice. Yeah, Grace hasn't really settled into anything. I like to do lots of things. I could go back to any of those things if I wanted to. But that's good to experiment. So. Right now, I am learning something new. I have to learn how to work a Mac. I've never seen one of these before, but I got to get uh, a presentation ready for tonight. And so I don't know how to step backwards on this Mac thing here. So anyway, I'm getting ready. To so that's going to continue. Some of the color from this one goes into this palette, which is trying to pull the yellow into the yellow, soft yellow background. Um, not, so, not continuing that thought all the way through the uh, was it pen and ink pen water. water pen. Reading the best right now, I think, is is the is the figure. You're, you're keeping the colors pretty simple, um, but that modulation of value within each color really helps to bring out some dimension on some of these pieces pretty nicely. Uh, there's that little area of impact. It's the page in the first one, the blue bird, and the second one, the red bird. It kind of picks up on uh, some of the color and some of the motif. Um, and then, what what was your thought with? Uh, flowers and the color of the background, just um, purely as background. I was to connect it somehow because uh, the first one. <laughs> right. Okay, I will. All right, thanks. Oh, nice work. Thanks. Yeah. You mind if I? Yeah, go ahead. I have a bunch of students, a bunch of slackers back in Utah that might want to see this. Uh, Alex, you got you got the one on my friend's piece? Show them. There. No, not with me. Oh, I'm gonna have it here. You got the file? Yeah. Show them. Show them. I want one of the killer. This, this guy's really good. What's your name? Ad, Adam wants to have Alex. your love child. Alex Beck. <laughs> what, what's that? Now? Adam wants to have your love child. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. There you go. Oh, nice. It's a little grainy right now. Yeah, really fun. Nice. Gouache mostly. Yeah? You know, you know I love gouache. Yeah. This my favorite medium, too. Yeah. Sweet. Good stuff. Okay. I'll be there. Oh. Okay. Cool. Hi. Uh, all right. Oh, actually, show them that, that Carter's thing. All right. Oh, okay. I'll show them Carter's thing. Too. I guess um, I do a lot of print and pattern stuff too. Um, these. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That stuff and um, kids' fashion. Um, Cute stuff. And I'm working. Adams. And then my thesis oh. is a children's book. So. Good. Uh, it's pretty cool. I got a whole dummy like worked out, like all the drawings and stuff nice. here. So I'm having about um, eight to ten pieces uh -huh. frame for my thesis show. This is your is this your sketchbook? That's my sketchbook too. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm the one that emailed you. So oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fun stuff. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we don't, we don't have to tell them to keep a sketchbook, they just do it all. They, say that again. We don't have to tell them to keep a sketchbook. <laughs> they just do it automatically. <laughs> I mean, you know. It's part of our uh -huh. blood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they just, it's just expected. <laughs> I, uh, so. I've been doing sketchbooks for about cool. five or six years, I guess. Yeah, cool. so I started doing them like in high see school. Bain, too, yeah. so we'll go. Thank you, Adam. Cool. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet it's you. Good meet you. Yeah. You're going to go tonight, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're still screwed up. Did you get that tank you were working in yesterday? Uh, yeah. It's quick. The seniors are more varied than the, the kids you saw this afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, 
very wide variety of stuff. Mm -hmm. Bing, you got some stuff you can show the artist? So are you guys all friends too? Is it like one big happy family here? No, yeah, most of the time. Is there any any fighting going on? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is just these oh. Huh. Nice. Elizabeth's Take, recording this, Elizabeth. taking it back from my Elizabeth's students. Elizabeth's another cute one, but she's... Yeah, Elizabeth's oh, yeah. the beginning of the first piece. Done yet. No, it's just the beginning. <laughs> she, does, she does have stuff done, but it's not this one. I know. You want to show the lava one? Yeah. So that's oh, like nice. Pieces. Yeah. Do you want me to zoom up, or...? No, that's Did good. you finish the camel one? Um, I'm st I still have some work to do on that one. Fun. Brett's our mad scientist. He's doing everything 3D. He's oh, the yeah? Back part of the comic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You nose. like the red nose guy, right? Do you want to be the red nose? Well, if you got some. So here's Bing. These are the trees for the Phantom Tollbooth. Oh, cool. I did an, an illustration for that, a bunch of illustrations for that in the textbook. Oh, yeah? yeah. For uh, Houghton Mifflin about 15 years ago. Back when I shouldn't have been allowed to illustrate. Oh, fun. Thanks. And your name is Bing? Yep. All right. Show them the red shoes. The red oh, shoes sure. is, I think, one of the best concepts I've seen. Oh, yeah? Is this like, uh... oh, nice. Thank you. Look... Yeah, I know. I saw it right away. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Fun. She's, she's pretty good. <laughs> Not just pretty good. Who is our resident graphic designer art director? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Nightmare. She's going to be giving all these people jobs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Try not to pay them too much. <laughs> Back on the society. Oh, nice. It's like how America's got, like, you know, the green. Right, right, right. Sometimes right. when they spend it, they really, really do well. So, uh -huh. I don't know. We, we added six million. Didn't we all suck at one point? <laughs> this is why I suck really bad. Well. <laughs> I think I was inspired by Dom. And then um, it also got the Society of Illustrators. But I started just getting this kind of work. Um, and I, you know, and what I was taught in school was, well, what's really selling is that anonymous figure. And so they were kind of saying, if you want to go out and make money, go do that. And that's kind of one of the things that I wanted to say tonight and kind of warn you against is it's nice to make money and sometimes it's what you have to do, but you, I think you should be looking beyond and always trying to figure out how you can end up doing you. Because I believe that every, every one of you in here has your own fingerprint, has your own style that's just waiting to come out. And the more work that you do, the more that that style will be expressed and will come out of you. And it's, I think it's inevitable, but I think you have to put in the time and you have to do what you're passionate about. Over on the right, tickle buds there, isn't that cute? You see a guy like me making tickle buds? <laughs> I, do it, I do it for the kids. Um, but yeah, so I, I made a book. Uh, I made actually made three, three e-books, and they're selling on Barnes & Noble, they sell on Amazon, they, they sell a little bit in the, in the iBooks, but nobody's really buying children's iBooks right now. Um, and I have learned a ton. Uh, I could fill the whole time talking about the mistakes and the things that I've learned just on, on making ebooks. But I really believe that that's one of the best ways to learn is to dive in and do something. If you get an idea, don't be afraid to just do it. Don't wait. And uh, yeah, I know she's done the, the Harry Potter stuff. I, I had heard, and I was, I was going to ask you this, but I forgot, that I had heard from somebody that she doesn't really like a lot of the work she did for that series. Is that right? That's correct. <laughs> and that's that's the well, it's not, and that's the sad thing is that when you get art directors involved, sometimes they just ruin it. So, anybody, any of you guys that end up as art directors, don't art direct. If you hire somebody <laughs> like this, <laughs> just let them do it, right? Yes. Okay, so every now and then, a really creative project slips through, slips like past the publishers that are waiting to, to kill it. And uh, somehow they don't—they didn't get to this one, and it made it. And I don't—I don't really understand why they don't learn from this, you know? Because then they go back to publishing the same old, same old. 
Well, let's look at, look at publishing as like a baseball diamond, right? Is that like analogies? My kids hate it because they're like, is this another stupid analogy? <laughs> yeah? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, they will one day. My dad's Your dad's a good dad. <laughs> Tell them I like it. <laughs> The publishers want to get home runs. They want to. They want to be here because they said their theory is that the market is there, the, the largest portion of the market. My theory is they're eliminating all the guys over here. Have you ever been? Is there anybody in a in a in a ballpark that wants someone to hit a foul ball? Anybody? Is a foul ever good? Yeah. The guy that's waiting to catch it, right, in the stands. They all want a foul ball to be hit. There's tons of market on either side of where the publishers are. Um, when a, a traditional publisher makes a, a picture book, it costs them between fifty and seventy-five thousand. Okay, so they have to make that much up in sales before they ever make a dime. And you know, I think that, that leaves tons of room for us on the side. And so you have this. I can't read that. I don't know what that says there in the middle. Yes. You guys, you guys know what this one is? Yes. Okay. Have you guys heard this? Yes. Do you know the, the backstory on this? The guy, the guy who wrote this, um, uh, Manspot here, he had, his, he had this daughter that was like the hell child that would not go I know what he's going through. And so he's on Facebook talking to his friends. He's like, why won't my daughter just go back to sleep? And then he, say, he makes, a, makes a comment and says, on Facebook, you know, I had to write a children's book about this. It's called Go to Have to Sleep. And... And uh, his friends were like, no, you should. And I was like, yeah, come on. No, no, you really should. No publisher will touch it, but people, adults, will love this book. Have you guys heard the reading by Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> uh, and that's how you feel as a parent. And because the market, if we, if, if we go back, the, the market out here, you know, these publishers are like, go to F. We can't publish that. You're crazy. They, the, the first publisher that they got to buy, the little tiny publisher, uh, said, well, we really believe in this project. We're going to print 15,000 copies, which is about 5,000 more than, than these big publishers usually publish on a book that they don't believe in. Um, so they were going to print 15,000. On Amazon, I think they were up to 25 or 30,000 copies pre-sold before they ever took, got the book done for the printer. And so they had to go back and ask for 150,000. Books, and they've already sold all those out there in their second printing. So I think there's a lot of room when you're coming up with ideas for something like this. Okay, make a product. Yeah, so I have these are the these are the three books that I did that I have links to over on the side. Um, I can talk about those real quick. I learned a ton. Monkey and Croc was the first one that I did. There's a reason I named it Monkey and Croc instead of Harold and Clyde because of Google keywords, right? So, and I think that that's going to happen a lot in the future. I'm getting sales because I have the word bugs, and I have the word frog, and I have the word polywog, and I have the word, you know, I don't want to say anything negative about them. But they're real introverts. And as soon as blogs came out, they went the other way. They're like, why do I need a blog? I have a website. And I said the same thing, and a friend of mine, luckily a friend of mine said, yeah, but nobody goes to your website because you never update it. I was like, really? Nobody goes to it? He goes, well, don't you have any, like, analytics on it or anything? I'm like, no. And he goes, I'm, trust me, nobody's going to your website. Because don't ever change it. Because the reason, you know, a blog is organic and you need to be blogging. Um, and I am a complete fan of this right now. And, and what most people do, I think they make a big mistake with their blog, is that they just throw their work up there. They go, I painted this for that. I painted this for this. I painted this. This is another crappy painting I did. They just like vomit their paintings out on the blog, right? I think that's a big mistake because you're missing out on telling your story. And I think that Daniel Pink is absolutely right in that people get caught up in story. And it's the same reason why if you go and shake someone's hand when you show them your work, you're probably 20 or 50 times more likely to get a job from them than if you send them a postcard. Okay? So, and I can, I can attest that. I only showed my portfolio for about two months in, in the D.C. area, and I ended up getting probably six jobs out of, out of sending it to, you know, maybe eight, 60, 70 places. Much higher percentage 
than postcards, which are usually less than 1%. So there is something to meeting someone. There is something to someone knowing about you, knowing about your story. Yeah. I really love that color. I, so, the, so kind of a rule that I gave myself from looking at other artists' work, I noticed that, um, yeah, as exactly what you said, that as the as the color goes to the light area, it warms. It doesn't work if the light source is cool, um, but you can do the opposite. You can cool it, um, but to give rich color, um, and this this happens in nature. Um, uh, we had time. I've got a whole. Get a picture of the vast array of work. <laughs> oh yeah, if you have a blog or a website, uh -huh. you can put this up definitely. Yeah. Wow. And you guys are students, student helpers, right? Yeah. <laughs> student helpers. All right. So what what we're gonna do is get you to pick between fifty to eighty pieces. Now, the 3D pieces, like I said, are down there, and the sketchbooks are at the end of that table. Okay. So if you see, like, five that you want to put in, you can. If you only like one or two, that's fine. Same with the sculptures. Okay. And I'm just saying, you can kind of go overboard on those because... Yeah, let's move them so they don't get confused. Move those over to the painting section. Yeah, watch yourself. Some of those. Well, I guess my work here is done. It was nice while it lasted, a nice little diversion. I get to go back to Utah and get a few more snowstorms in.